All right, um, for today's vlog, there will be later in the day, I'll do a review on a couple candy bars, but um, the good news I've seen is I got enough hours viewed of filming where I could monetize my channel, but right now, before I can monetize the channel, I need, like, way more subscribers than 13. I think I'm going to need around a, a thousand subscribers before I can monetize. But, um, otherwise, you know, like with, today I work 10 to 4, but it's like, I'm actually hoping that they have little Aaron working today. Cause I mean, yeah, I would love to see him, them give him more hours, you know. Regardless, even if he's in college, you know. But like, like I said, when, when I got, when my husband told about the announcement, I, and he thought it was suspicious, and I did too. And he said, he probably said yeah, to her, you know, yeah, whatever. He probably didn't really say yes. She has to realize sometimes he says whatever just to cave in so people stay off his back. And I don't want to say that. But, like I said, eventually, once I get enough subscribers, I don't think she's going to realize there's going to be hashtags that, uh, with her and commenting about him having eyes for another woman. And it's not her. And I mean, like, for a waitress that works at Denny's. So... Like I said, she'll she'll get mad and accuse him of cheating. That that's how that's gonna end. And when he hears her cheating on him, same will come out of his mouth. He'll accuse her of cheating. Now with um that Kmart building, since there's a no trespassing sign on there, I will not be going back there ever again. <laughs> Because, like I said, it ain't worth it if you get in trouble with the law. So, that Manning that filmed at Kmart that beforehand that my husband said, it's like, well, technically he was trespassing then. But, you know, him, that guy, he ain't gonna go back there either, just to say the least. <laughs> so. But, what, what I kind of got in a kick out is that, which, yeah, I agree. That building should be demolished. I agree with, with what that one person said on that neat guys and gals Facebook group. And, and, I, and I hate to say it, yeah, the owners ain't going to be able to lease that building. The only way they're going to have someone there is if they sell it for the land and let the new owners demolish the building, basically. And that's how bad of condition it's in. Yeah, it's not even safe going near because... Since there's a hole in it, the whole building could collapse because there is a, um, exposed wood, I want to say. So that wood could be already rotting. Because the, while that was running as a store, the roof did collapse some in there, and it was on the news, I mean. But... As for, like, today, it's like, I don't know. I mean, now that the Christmas is over and so it's New Year's, 
It's going to be a lot slower now. The return season's done and over with. So, now I got to worry about is, okay, you know, are, is Renard's going to all of a sudden send me home early now? <laughs> well, like I said, like, what's a day like tomorrow? I wouldn't mind if they send me home at 4. You know, but, yeah, it's going to get busier as it gets near noon, though, as you can see, but, um, yeah, I, I, I know I always feel sorry for my brother since he's been brainwashed and he's in a cult relationship, you can tell. He's brainwashed real bad, and like I said, I wish the old him would come out and basically tell Shamuel that Antos off and for him to point the middle finger at her. That's what the old him would have done. That's what he would have done told him before he ever started drinking beer, before he ever met her, he would have just dated a down-to-earth girl that would have let him go out hunting and fix his vehicle, work on his vehicles, you know. That's the old Kevin. You know, he loved working on vehicles, I mean... If I can remember right, too. So I think he said he told uh, Trisha Paulson off for bossing him around. And she thought, because she was one of the popular girls at, at Blair Taylor in his class. And she thought that was god awful that he told her off for, because she was trying to tell him what to do. And he was like, I ain't doing what you want me to do, and I'm going to tell you off, basically, is what you did. <laughs> yeah. So, he told her, basically, she's not the boss of him, he, and then, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so, I, like I said, he didn't let anyone force him to eat things that he didn't like. I mean, you would tell him flat out, that that's the old him. He didn't like eating that. He would tell him. But. But yeah, I think even my brother, he never would have worn shorts, I'll tell you that. He never would have worn sandals. All he would wear all year round, if I remember right, was boots. All he wanted to wear was carpenter pants because, and this I know would make people laugh, was because the... Popular boys were wearing them jeans, too. So he had to wear them, too, because that was the it thing. There was a time where he didn't care about that, but he used to wear regular brief underwear. And then also when he started drinking beer, he thought he had to wear boxers. And I'm like, that ain't the old Kevin, no. That ain't the Kevin that I know. But, yeah, and then I think even the old him would have worn just regular t-shirts or button-up shirts all year round. He didn't really like wearing a coat at this time of year, I'll tell you that right now. But then all of a sudden, yeah, 
he the old him didn't like going to the doctor. I'll tell you that, cause they all, cause he thought you know going and seeing the doctor was god awful, and all that. But um, the other thing like with the old Kevin, you know he loved going out bow hunting and out gun hunting. He liked it shooting squirrels and rabbits. You know, he liked to going out to Gander Mountain and, you know, Claire and going to Shields every weekend. You know, yeah, at one point we thought he was going up to Eau Claire to see a girl. He said, oh, no, no, I don't got a girlfriend in Eau Claire. Oh, you know, that that's what he was telling people. Yeah. But what Scott started drinking beer, which he admitted to, it was, um, I guess it, one of his coworkers was pressuring him, saying, Oh, don't you want more friends? He'll get more friends when you go out drinking and getting drunk. No. If you want more friends, you just be yourself. You don't need to drink beer until you get drunk. You don't even need to touch beer to make friends. You know, that, that's why I wish I could have told him. You know, you, you can tell there's a lot of evidence of him being peer pressured, I mean. And they told him, well, you'd be cool probably if he, because he didn't used to chew the tobacco. And then he started wanting, uh, I don't know why, he wanted to dress exactly like our cousin Joe and act like our cousin Joe. Our cousin Joe wears sleeveless shirts and sunglasses. So my brother thought he had to do the same thing. And chew tobacco like Joe. Uh, and that's where you want to say to Shamlin, you're not in love with Kevin. You're in love with our cousin Joe, who is dating Krista, who is having a baby with Krista. Yeah. That would get someone real mad. I mean, <laughs> even my brother used to, the old him would have played video games with me. Oh, yeah. Used to play Pokemon, wrestling, um, Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, yeah, you name it. 